Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, is a serious disease. It makes muscles weak and break down over time. DMD is a genetic disease, which means it is passed down from parents to their children. It is a rare disease that mostly affects boys. Muscles are important for moving and doing everyday things. We use our muscles to walk, run and play. They also help us breathe and keep our hearts strong. DMD makes it hard for muscles to do their job. Imagine a group of strong ropes holding up a tent. These ropes are like the dystrophin protein in our muscles. Dystrophin helps keep our muscles strong and healthy. In DMD, the body doesn't make enough dystrophin. This is like having weak ropes that can't hold up the tent. Without enough dystrophin, muscles get weak and damaged. This damage gets worse over time. This is why children with DMD may have trouble walking, running or playing as they get older. DMD is caused by a problem with a gene. Genes are like instructions that tell our bodies how to grow and work. The gene affected in DMD is responsible for making dystrophin. Dystrophin is a protein found in muscles. Proteins are like building blocks for our bodies. They have many important jobs. Dystrophin acts like a shock absorber. It protects muscle fibers from damage during activity. Without enough dystrophin, muscle fibers break down and weaken. Think of dystrophin as the glue that holds a brick wall together. Each brick is like a muscle fiber. The glue keeps the bricks strong and in place. Without enough glue, the wall becomes weak and can crumble. In DMD, the lack of dystrophin weakens the glue holding muscle fibers together. This makes the muscles vulnerable to damage, leading to the symptoms of DMD. The first signs of DMD usually appear in early childhood. Parents may notice their child is having trouble walking, running, or keeping up with other children. They may fall often or have difficulty climbing stairs. Muscle weakness in DMD often starts in the hips, pelvis and legs. It then spreads to the arms, shoulders and neck. As the disease progresses, children with DMD may develop a waddling gait and have difficulty standing up from a sitting position. In addition to muscle weakness, DMD can also affect learning and development. Some children with DMD may have learning disabilities, delayed speech or behavioral problems. These challenges can make it harder to keep up in school and socialize with peers. As DMD progresses, it can also affect the heart and lungs. The heart is a muscle that pumps blood throughout the body. The lungs are muscles that help us breathe. DMD is a progressive disease, meaning it gets worse over time. As muscle weakness worsens, children with DMD may lose the ability to walk and require a wheelchair. This usually happens between the ages of 8 and 12. The loss of mobility impacts a child's independence and quality of life. They may need help with everyday activities such as dressing, bathing, and eating. As DMD progresses, it can lead to breathing problems. Weakened chest muscles make it difficult to breathe deeply and cough effectively. Heart problems are another concern. DMD can weaken the heart muscle, leading to cardiomyopathy. Scoliosis is also a risk as muscle weakness can cause the spine to curve abnormally. Additionally, joint contractures can occur, limiting joint movement and flexibility. Section 5, Treatment and Management Navigating DMD. While there is no cure for DMD, treatments manage symptoms, slow progression and improve quality of life. Treatment involves a team, including a neurologist for the nervous system, a pulmonologist for the respiratory system and a cardiologist for the heart. Physical therapists maintain muscle strength and flexibility. Occupational therapists improve daily activity independence. Medications like corticosteroids slow muscle degeneration. Regular physical activity helps maintain strength. Braces support muscles and prevent contractures. Wheelchairs provide independence as mobility declines. Section 6. A hopeful future research and support. Despite the challenges of DMD, there is reason for hope. Scientists are working hard to develop new and innovative treatments for DMD, including gene therapy and gene editing techniques. These cutting-edge approaches hold the potential to address the underlying genetic cause of DMD and offer a cure. While research continues, it's important to remember that individuals with DMD and their families are not alone. There are many organizations that provide support, resources and a sense of community. By raising awareness, supporting research efforts and providing compassionate care, we can make a difference in the lives of those affected by DMD and move closer to a future where this devastating disease is a distant memory.